So how do we use connection pooling in our applications? If you're a .NET developer, you're most likely already using connection pooling since it is built into the Oracle driver and completely transparent to you as an application developer. I have a segment of some data access code, and all this code is doing is opening a connection to the database, performing some data access work, and then closing the connection. When the program executes this line right here, even though the name of this method is open, what is really happening is that you're borrowing a connection from the connection pool. It may be that the connection pool does indeed have to open a new physical connection to the database in order to execute this statement. But most times, what this line is doing is just going to grab an available connection from the connection pool and hand it back to your code. Then, when you call close on your connection, you're not actually closing the physical connection on the database. What you are doing is returning this connection to the pool so it can be checked out by another thread in your application. If we were using using statements rather than a try catch finally block, then when .NET executed the using statement, this is when the connection will be returned to the pool. So if you're a .NET developer, that's all there is to it. You probably already have code that looks like this in your application, and so you're already using connection pooling without even thinking about it. If you want to control some of the parameters of the connection pool, you can do so through the connection string that you use. The parameters that you see listed here are taken directly from the oracle.net developers guide. These are just the ones that relate to connection pooling. Generally, the defaults just work fine, so if you don't specify any of these parameters, Oracle will just use these default values. One parameter that you may be interested in is that by default, the maximum pool size is 100. Again, this maximum applies to each connection pool, so if your application connects to two different Oracle databases, each pool can have a total of 100 physical connections in it. If you do have an application, say a very busy web application that needs more concurrent connections, then this is the parameter that you would want to modify. We also see that there is a parameter for the minimum pool size, and you might be tempted to set this to a larger value. In some cases, this can be appropriate, but I would discourage you from just arbitrarily setting this to a high value. If there's a period of time where there's little to no activity in your application, the Oracle driver will still keep this number of connections open to the database. And if you have a lot of unused connections, this is going to be wasteful in terms of memory up on your Oracle database server. This is especially true if this minimum pool size is repeated across multiple machines, like servers in a web cluster. In practice, as the need for connections increases, the Oracle driver opens more connections. And then, as the need for connections decreases, it will check every five minutes for connections that have been idle to see if it can decrement the number of connections in the pool. If so, it will use the parameter decrement pool size to determine how many connections it should close. And in practice, this works very well. The defaults do a good job of matching the number of connections in the pool to the needs of the application, so you rarely have to modify these values. 